hours after turning himself in, Robert Carter faced a judge in probable cause court. Mr. Carter, you are here because of two warrants that were issued for your arrest. Carter is charged with continuous sexual abuse of a child and sexual assault of a child. His total bond set at $200,000. The victim in this case alleges that she was sexually abused from the age of seven, did not uh, conclude until the age of 19 with the sexual encounters occurring hundreds of times. Court docs allege Carter told the victim, no one will believe you, and if you do tell, I'll tell them that you came to me and did this. It goes on to say the abuse happened at least 600 times, taking place at Carter's home, in a grocery store parking lot, and at churches, including at the Greater Bible Way Church in Sunnyside, where court documents state Carter worked. We stopped by that address earlier today, and the building there appeared to be abandoned. The charges also state the victim secretly had Carter's baby in a closet when she was 16 years old, and Carter took the baby to a firehouse. According to Houston area activist Candace Matthews, she says Carter has been a longtime bishop and pastor. She sent us a statement from the victim's father, who did not want to speak to us on camera, but said in part, quote, I'm glad the perpetrator is in custody, and we will let the justice system take care of the rest. He also shared his daughter, now an adult, was not planning on getting the child back. As for Carter, who we learned has a 14-year-old son and has also worked in hospice care for nearly two decades, bond conditions were set for him during which he asked the judge this question. Yes, sir. Yeah, if Carter bonds out for now, he is not allowed near churches, schools, or parks, or anywhere where children gather. He will also need to be supervised if he wants to see his son. His next court date is set for tomorrow morning. Back to you. Michelle Choi walking us through the very difficult details. Thank you.